Hello friends, welcome to Input Output Grammar. So today in this video, we are going to see a new question and this question is very, very important, which is remove duplicates from sorted array. But here the twist is a uh, duplicates appears at most twice. Okay, so this is the twist in this question. So first read the question. So here's the question given an integer array num sorted in non-decreasing order. So you have to remove some duplicates in place. So remove some duplicates in place. That means you cannot use extra space for this problem okay such that each unique element appears at most twice so appears at most twice means each duplicate element should be appears maximum two times okay so if there are duplicate elements present then it should appears maximum two times okay so if there is no duplicate elements then it should appears one time that is the unique element will be printed okay so the relative order of the elements should be kept the same so the relative order that means it will be in non-decreasing order that means it will be in increasing order so we are in this problem you can see the input output format and the input is given an array and here is some duplicate present okay so how our output will be five so you can see here here first the three one is present three in here two one why two one because you can see here so one is a duplicate element here and we should print this element at most twice okay so maximum two times one will be printed here so next you can see two is a duplicate element okay so two should be appears two times so two should be appears two times here okay so next is three and three is not a duplicate element so three will be printed as it is okay so total number of elements is five so our output will be five here okay so now how we can solve this so before solving this problem let me tell you one thing that i have made a video on a remove duplicates from a sorted array okay so please watch that video first and next watch this video because because there i have told how to remove the duplicate elements from a sorted array okay and that is in place that is without using any extra space so first watch that video and after watching that video it will be very easier to understand you okay so we'll using the same concept here but here the extra thing is that duplicates appears at most twice so for that we'll check first if the first element is unique element or not so if this is a unique element then we'll print it and second we'll check if this element is a unique element or not so if this is a unique element we'll simply print it but if this is not a unique element if this contains duplicates then what we'll do then we'll check if this is a i position and it will be i plus 2 position okay and we'll check here if i and i minus 2 is not equal if this two are not equal then this is not the duplicates of this element okay so similarly we'll check it for the next two elements and next two elements and in this way we can check the duplicates okay so let's see the code and you will better understand it okay okay so first I write the basic format of the c++ that is as include io stream using namespace standard int main okay inside this main function let's write a vector and inside the vector we'll store all the elements so let's write a vector and the type of the vector is integer okay and the name of the vector is suppose nouns okay so this will contains all the elements so what are the elements so let's copy it from here and paste it here okay now let's write a function where we'll do all the operations so the name of the function is duplicates we inside this function pass this vector that is nums and before this main function write the same function here and the return type will be integer because it will return the size of the array after removing these duplicates okay so int duplicates so inside this write the vector here and the and the type of the vector is integer and write here ampersand okay then the name of the vector that is nums so now inside this function we'll write a forage loop okay and using the forage loop we'll extract each and every element from the vector one by one and we'll check it okay so for that write a forage loop here so for auto data then then write here a colon and then nums okay 
So what it will do? It will extract each and every element from this num vector. That is first one is come to this num and it will first to this data and it will convert it to integer. Why it will convert it to integer? Because here we have write auto. So it will automatically convert to the integer value. Okay. And it will do for all the elements of this num vector. Okay. So inside this for loop, we'll check. What we'll check? First we'll check if the position is 0 or 1. Okay. So suppose our initial position is denoted by i and i equals to 0. Okay. So now we'll check here using this if condition if i equals to 0 or i equals to 1. That is if the position is 1 or 0 or this data value. That is the data comes from this num vector if this data is not equals to is not equals to nums of i minus 2. Then what we will do? Then we will store this data. Then we will store this data into the nums of i. Okay. So for that right here nums of i equals to data. Okay. So then we will simply store this data into the nums of i. So here you can see. So if i equals to 0 that means if this is the 0th position and if i equals to 1 that means if this is the 1 position or if the data is not equal to i minus 2. So now we are here in this position after checking this 0 and 1 position now we are checking if this data if this data is not equals to i minus 2 so i minus 2 means i minus 2 means this so if this data is not equals to nums of i minus 2 then we will store this data into the nums of i okay and we will increase the i value okay so you can also post increment this i from here so it will increase the i value after storing the data into the nums of i okay so finally we will go outside of this for loop and return the i so just return i okay so i value will be returned and we will store it here so let's store it so int n equals to nums okay so now you can see we want to print the number of elements that is 5 okay so for that just print here c out n okay so this will print the result okay so our code is complete so one thing we have not done here that is we have used the vector here but we have not included it so for that right here as include and then vector okay so it's done let's run it so you can see the output is 5 so this is perfect and here you can see our expected output was 5 we have done this without using any extra space that is we are using a vector for storing the input elements and we have not used any extra space here okay so you can check this by using another test cases and hope you understand this and enjoyed this video and if you find this video helpful then please like the video and share it with your friends so thank you for watching this video see you in the next video till then take care